ஹரிஓம் டு எவ்ரி ஒன் நமஸ்தே வெல்கம் டு வைதிக் யஜ்ஞா சென்டர் அண்ட் ஐ வில் பி ஸ்டார்டிங் த வெபினார் சோன் இன் ஜஸ்ட் ஃபியூ மினிட்ஸ் ஆஸ் வி ஆர் பீப்புள் ஆர் ஜாயினிங் நவ் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் வெயிட்டிங் ஃபியூ மோர் மினிட்ஸ் அண்ட் சம் பீப்புள் ஹூ ரிஜிஸ்டர்ட் அண்ட் தே மே நாட் பி ஏபிள் டு ஜாயின் ஸோ டெஃபினெட்லி யூ ஆல் வில் ரிசீவ் யூ திஸ் ரிகார்டிங் for the session so we'll be you know starting soon thank you and in the meanwhile if you have any questions you can raise and you can uh, ask your question as well <laughs> yes uh, definitely this uh, recordings will be available uh, after the session you all if you are registered for this zoom session definitely you will receive the um, recording of this session hari om to everyone namaste let's start the session now and uh, hope maybe people might join a little later as well so but we don't want to lose our time and uh, thank you very much joining to me today for this uh, session let me share my screen here so that way we know you all can see my screen now this session today we will be learning about mahashivaratri and uh, unfold the secrets and uh, of mahashivaratri and abhishekam what is the abhishekam and how we can be benefited with this of course you might be aware of many of you you might be aware uh and uh, you might be following about mahashivaratri uh, but again always is nice to learn every time refresh our minds so mahashivaratri celebrations this year commencing uh, like you know it's uh, starting uh, mahashivaratri is on the 5th uh, sorry 8th of march on saturday in india but in us we will be celebrating so it's not 9th of march it's 8th of march it's a typo error uh so 8th of march uh friday uh, uh, we are celebrating and uh, what is mahashivaratri Mahashivaratri on the great night of Shiva is a Vedic annual celebrations in the honor of Lord Shiva. It is observed on the March 8th in this year. The participants observe a day long fast and offer special prayers to Lord Shiva, staying awake all night and engaging in meditation and chanting of mantras and yagyas. and pujas the celebration holds great significance in vedic tradition symbolizing overcoming darkness and ignorance in life so if you if you understand the you know symbol you know overcoming the darkness we all go through some kind of a darkness and you know we are all in dark especially in kali yuga and sometimes we do lot of mistakes by ignorance and uh, that's okay when you do mistakes with ignorance but if you do mistakes with arrogance arrogance it's not okay there is a saying ignorance can be tolerated but not arrogance so here by the grace by the blessings of lord shiva we can get rid of our mis- miseries and as well as darkness in our life and invite the brightness okay. all right so here this year at vedic yajna center in india especially in the abode of lord shiva in varanasi kashi we are celebrating 
this program on the 8th of March, 24 hours. Uh, morning 6 to next morning 6, we, uh, we are celebrating and we are doing a different programs. As you can see on the screen, um, the full program is there and uh, we are offering uh, Annadanam as well. We are going to be uh, distributing food on this day for people. Like in, not on this day, next day immediately we are doing Annadanam. Uh, so, you know, you can, if you are interested, you can definitely sign up for these programs uh, by scanning these barcodes or join going into my website, which is uh, www.vidic.com. And uh, <clears throat> let's start. Before I start uh, the actual lesson, do the prayer and then we will get into it. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Vakratunda Mahakaya Koti Surya Sama Prabha Nirvignan Kuru Medeva Sarvakar Yeshu Sarvada Om Gungurave Namaha Om Namah Shivaya So in Mahashivaratri by participating in this Yajya or Puja you may experience the benefits to improve uh, you know, improved concentration, mental purification, spiritual progress as we come together in prayer and meditation. So this is a, wherever you are, you may connect with a couple of like-minded people and get together on this day and do a group chanting on Om Namah Shivaya or do a group meditation for 24 hours. It's like a cleansing. Uh, when you do this kind of an, a, um, you know, collective consciousness program, like when everybody comes together and join in the meditation, you can cleanse our karmas as well. And don't miss this opportunity to deepen your connections with the divine and enjoy the blessings of auspicious occasion. Because the Shivaratri comes once in a year only. It doesn't happen every month or every day. Don't miss this opportunity to deepen your connections with the divine and enjoy the blessings of his auspicious occasion. Right? So, <clears throat> now... What are the benefits of Rudrabhishekam on Mahashivaratri? You know, you may do the Rudrabhishekam every day, but when you're doing the Maha, this Rudrabhishekam, uh, this pujas, on this specific day, vibrant with positive energy, abundance of prosperity, happiness, enlightenment, and inner spiritual peace. And you know all the meaning, all this. I don't need to explain a little bit, you know, here. But the thing is, when you participate on this day, especially in these programs, or you do your inner meditation on this day, at your home, at your uh, near your altar, it is a great benefit you can get. So let's understand a little bit about what is the Abhishekam. Abhishekam is a sacred bath. It's a ritualistic bathing ceremony to Lord. So what is the primary purpose of Abhishekam? You know, many people say, okay, Abhishekam is just a one word, but what is the primary purpose? The primary purpose 
of Abhishekam, when offered with love and devotion, is to cleanse our consciousness with God's blessings through the ingredients that are used in the Abhishekam. So let's understand, you know, when you do the Abhishekam, as said here, cleanse our consciousness because we all have consciousness. Antahkarana, which is our own consciousness. We need to answer to our own consciousness whether we are doing things in a right way or wrong way. Sometimes we do things without knowingly some mistakes in life. So we don't know that. So by participating in this Rudra Abhishekam, especially on Mahashivaratri day, it gives you a great effect, great results. The significance of Abhishekam is Alankara of Priyo Vishnuhu Abhisheka Priyaha Shivaha. Lord Vishnu will be happy when you decorate him nicely, but Lord Shiva is very happy if you just offer a cup of water on him. Because Lord Shiva does not need ornaments and a lot of flowers. All he needs just is a cup of water. Of course, when you give uh, you know, God gives you so much, you should offer many more other ingredients. It's not, it is a great benefit. But if one who cannot afford anything, that person just offer a cup of water with devotion, with dedication on Shivalinga, it is a, you know, Lord Shiva will be pleased with the devotion. But again, when you can afford to do a proper way of yaga puja or a remedy, you should be able to do that. Shivalinga Abhishekam is a daily spiritual ritual which you can offer at your home, office, performed by our... But here, we do this ritual every single day in our ashram, in my center in India. And the people, a lot of people are, you know, getting the benefit of this and uh, all year long performed by our specially trained Vedic priests with utmost devotion and your name your nakshatra and your you know uh, details of your birth information will be decided in the during the sankalpa now when we do the abhishekam the main Abhishekam is Pancha Amrita Abhishekam. Pancha Amrita is Pancha Amrita. Five main nectars which will be used during the Abhishekam. Abhishekam is the ritualistic bathing ceremony of the gods with sacred substance, namely milk, which is a water element, sense of taste, curd, the earth element, the sense of touch, Ghee, the fire element, sense of sight. Honey, the earth element, sense of hearing. Sugar, air, of element, air element, the sense of smell. So this, uh, uh, this Panchamrita Abhishekam, which we offer uh, in a, uh, in, in the, especially in daily Abhishekams and in, on the Shivaratri day, we offer with uh, more other ingredients as well. All right. So let's understand the Panchamrita. What is the Panchamrita Abhishekam? These five, when mixed, becomes Panchamrita. The milk, yogurt, sugar, honey, ghee. These five items, five uh, representation of five elements, when you mix together, it's called Pancha Amritam. Pancha is five, Amrita is the nectar that becomes the nectar. This five, when mixed, becomes a Pancha Amrita, are the five nectars and are the five elements with, with us and five elements outside of us, within us and without, outside of us as well. Pancha Amrita Abhishekam helps in harmonizing, harmonizing our body with the world, vibrating energy in tune with the orchestra of life portion of life. Performing Shivalinga Abhishekam and Puja is worshipping Lord Shiva in his Rudra form. 
representation of the universe. He is the remover of all sins and afflictions and helps in attainment of peace, prosperity and happiness. So here is the Shivalingam. If you are not familiar with what is the Shivalingam looks like, this is the Shivalingam looks like in the picture. So what is the Shivalingam? And uh, bathing of the Shivalingam symbolizing the removal of impurities, false self or ego from our mind. The ego which is the source of all the hardships in life. Stilling the modifications of the mind, Chitta Vritti Nirodha in the yoga. This purification ritual also symbolizes the elimination of our material interests that distract us from as our spiritual path. Sponsoring such Lord Shiva Puja and Abhishekam helps us achieve success, harmony, peace, and abundance in the five main areas life in life which are health and well-being work and career finance and wealth friends and family and relaxation and it it helps on relationship areas as well family harmonization and you know during this talk if you have questions please uh, type on the question answers uh, uh, area so definitely I will try to answer uh, during the session itself. Okay. Now top five benefits of Rudra Abhishekam is happiness at the home. You know sometimes we are we are we think we are doing all right at but some kind of an unhappiness at home. So by doing the Abhishekam every day, participating especially on the Shivaratri day. It gives you the support of nature. Success in career and job. Harmony in relationship. Removal of planetary doshas, graha doshas, planetary negative influences. Resolution of financial troubles and stress. So here are the Abhishekam we do at the temple in uh, Costa Mesa. But here in India also we do with our priests um, here in Ashram, in our my center. So Abhishekam, Sarva Papani Nashanti Shambhor Vara Abhishekataha, Avrutyacha Bhavet Saukhyam Rudrena Akhila Sampadam, Syat Ekadasha Rudrena Sashriyam Labhate Dhruvam, Shatarudra Abhishekena Putra Bautradi Sampadam. Here, the meaning of this. The shloka, this uh, mantra is Abhishekam to Lord Shiva destroys all sins, bestows happiness, bliss, and wealth and happiness of the future generation. Abhishekam can be every day, weekly, or yearly, can be Ekadasha Rudra, which is 11 times, or Shatarudra, which is 100, 100 times. Or Maharudra, which is uh, uh, 1300 times, and uh, Atirudra is 14,000 times. So it's a different number of chantings which we do in this different form of Abhisheka. So, understanding of the Panchamrita Abhishekam, milk, you know, we talked about five elements. So, let's understand these five elements and how it connects. Milk, in principle, is the pure and natural product of a deshi cow. It represents the deshi is a organic. It represents the pure and natural qualities of God, the supreme savior, as depicted in Vedas. For example, compassion is the greatest quality of God. We are also compassionate, but most of us show compassion only towards create certain people, expecting certain benefits at certain periods of time. Such compassion is contaminated and not pure and natural. 
the compassion in God termed as Vatsalyam. Vatsalyam is, is a indiscriminative, indefinite, selfless and pure in every respect. The milk that touches the divine form of God carries the power to touch the recipient also pure and natural if the recipient also desire for it. When you offer the milk on the Shivalingam, that creates an energy between that milk and Shivalingam and it connects through the cosmos, becomes the cosmic energy. And that cosmic energy will help us through the divine energy. So that is the way the participant will get the benefit out of this offering. How can I, you know, we apply this knowledge into our life? The next time we take the Abhisheka, which is Tirtham, the holy water, when you go to a temple, containing milk, let's sincerely desire for God's grace in destroying impurities of our thoughts, words, and actions so that we can also be pure and natural. Or when you meditate, surrender to the Lord. And think of your offering milk on the Shivalinga in your imagination itself. And think of, let go of our impurities from us. Now, yogurt, the second element. The purity is one's heart, also graced by God, makes one's believe in him more and more. When one's belief is God's strengthness, it is represented by curd as its very form. When belief in God's strengthness, one aligns oneself to the way of God. So how can we apply this knowledge about the yogurt? Next time we take the Abhisheka Tirtha again in the temple or holy water or whenever, or you meditate, Let's sincerely desire for God's grace in the strengthening our belief in him for a firmer intellect, intellect to guide, guide us in decision-making in our life. Now, Panchamrtam, which is the third item, is ghee, is a fire element. The firm belief in God nurtures to become love, devotion, which is bhakti. Bhakti is represented by butter because love is also delicate and soft in nature like butter. It cannot bear the heat of separation. As soon as butter feels the heat, it melts and moves. This state of devotion is represented by ghee. Devotion makes a devotee move towards God because he cannot bear the separation from God. He develops disinterest in anything that is not divinely. For example, not partaking and pertaining to God. A devotee in such state is said to be a vairagi. Vairagya. So how we can apply this, in, this knowledge into our life? Next time, again, when you take the blessings or when you meditate, just think of offering ghee on the Shivalingam and sincerely desire for God's grace that fills devotion in us that cannot bear separation from him. Separation from thoughts, words, and actions that he approves. When you can make it a decision, ask yourself or prefer but preferably elders in lineage, in your family, or your well-wishers, or your guru, your teachers, what would God approve of this situation? Before you make a decision in life, always taking a second opinion is advisable. Now, fourth one is honey. Panchamrutam, in the, five, five, uh, in the fourth element is honey. Honey comes from flowers or honeybees 
each flower represents a sankalpam a wish honey indicates a flower's core essence therefore it represents an intensified wish or desire for something in you the honey that touches god's divine form when taken as part of tirtham or blessing as the power of intensity intensify our wishes to the point that they yield desired results how can we apply this into our life this method again when you meditate on um, on shiva or shivalinga or offering and when you go to temple let's sincerely desire for god's grace that gives birth to positive sankalpa sankalpa is intentions in our mind which comes wishes in alignment with his wishes god's wish is the well being of all uh, all souls let our conduct let our conduct not divide deviate from his wish now fresh fruits also they use in panchamrita or fruit juices fruit is the penlumate yield of tree therefore it represents a wish that translated into a successful result when you you know any fruit needs to come you always seed first it takes couple of years to give you the fruit the results so however not all wishes comes true in our life the fruit that touches god's divine form reaches you giving the desired energy removing unwanted hurdles and paving the path for its successful result so how we can apply this knowledge again god's grace that supports us in attaining the ultimate result of our deeds god himself when god is with you what not with you you know think of always div divine energy is with you and walking you walking with you impels are wonderful embodiment of such wisdom depicted through each uni unique service such as abhishekam offered to god the specially trained vedic priests tirelessly do their jobs in aiding us with the benefit of god god's purpose to help us perform righteous deeds successfully let us bow to the priest to god the acharyas the to the god the acharyas and the entire institution of temples for providing such wonderful direction in our life you know we live very close we may be living very close to our temple in your area but we never visit but i strongly recommend on especially on the day of shivratri you should visit the temple nearby you now shiva mainly what we understand shiva is a very uni, 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 unified form and here panchamrata like a, as we learned about panchamrata five elements here panchanana because panchamukha shiva five faces of shiva on especially on this mahashivratri we are at, at our vedic yagna center in india center we are offering to lord shiva representation of five faces five faces shiva five folds functions aspects and forms of shiva which we are worshiping vedic tradition holds an important place in the world in the world lord shiva is an integral aspect of vedic tradition he represents the universal consciousness universal energy the purity he is also the destroyer kala or death the destroyer of all evil in the world he executes five major functions as lord of the universe if you look at the nataraja 
Nataraja has five actions. Nataraja is a form of Lord Shiva. And he does the Tandava. And Shiva Tandava Stotra is a very beautiful Stotra to listen. And it's, it gives you a lot of vibrations in the body. Jatakata hasam brahma brahman nilimpa nirjari vilo lavi chivallari virajamana murdhani dhagad 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 jwalalalata patta bhavake kishora chandra shekhare rati pratikshanam mama. This kind of a stotra you chant on Shivaratri day gives you the strength. The five cosmic actions, cosmic powers, cosmic duties, cosmic functions are kriyas of Lord Shiva. Srishti, Sthiti, Laya, Thirodhana and Anugraha. These are the five actions. So let's understand these five actions. Creation, which is Srishti. He is the creator of all the worlds and beings. He is pure consciousness in all. Preservation is the Sthiti. Sthiti Karaka is the preserve. He is the preserver and protector of the world, ensuring the con con uh, continuation of life cycle. He is the source for sustenance of all nourishment, food, des designation, water, and bre breath, which is prana, for all gods and all beings. He has in him the life sustaining power of breath, prana, prana, praneshwara, and the power of fire of digestion, which is in Bhagavad Gita also, the Lord Krishna says, Aham Vaishvanaro Bhutva Praninam Dehama Shritaha. Lord is sitting in our inside of us and he is digesting all our food what we eat and he is making our body works fine and conception which is jataragni all right next the destruction laya or samhara as one cycle of the world creation and ends and lend, ends and lends the life um, itself to another. Lord Shiva restores all creation into himself to create the world anew. So, next one is fourth one, conclement, Tirobhava. As the conclear. Lord Shiva keeps the whole world, the whole creation under dissolution, which is Maya. This dissolution, or Maya, results in living beings not being able to recognize the or perceive him or Lord Shiva in their own true nature of the divinity in them, hidden by the manifestation of impurities. This ensures that the natural state and balance of the world is not harmed or disturbed or disturbed. So, Anugraha, revelation a revealing grace of Lord, which is called Anugraha. He is the all-knowing. He is the source of grace, eternal supreme knowledge, and the truth. In addition to doing good karma, worshipping Shiva with the faith and devotion with the dedication is the utmost important. Right knowledge is the path to Lord Shiva's grace, to bliss and liberation. Any questions before I go into more detail of these five faces and five forms of Shiva? If you have questions, please type there. Uh, 
So here, the five faces of Shiva, each face has each face has five, each name. Sadyojata, Sadyojata Vamadeva, Aghora, Ishana, Tatpurusha. These are the five forms of Shiva's names. So first form of Shiva is Sadyojata Shiva. Qua, uh, quickly breathing. Cosmic action is Srishti, which is he creates. Character of Shiva is he is the Adideva, first lord of all worlds. Deputed lord is Brahma. Related Kala is Nivritti Kala. Cosmic element is the earth, Prithvi or Manda Prithvi. Direction is west, Paschima. And Panchakshara Mantra is in the syllable Om Namah Shivaya, which you, which you all know that. He represents for the syllable Na. And color is white. Part of the body is limbs. Sense is a taste. And prana is a apana. They know that we have 10 pranas in our body. So he is a apana prana. Kosha is annamaya kosha, physical body. Chakra representation is muladhara. These are the, you know, characters of Shiva in our human body, in our human, uh, in, 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 the, in the divine world. In the form of Sadyojata, as you can see on the left-hand side top, this picture is uh, Sadyojata Shiva. And mantra for this Sadyojata is Sadyoja, Sadyojata Murti mean is a Sadyojata is a capable of assuming innumerable forms quickly. Sadyojata is quick results, quick action. Pervading and spreading for his feet and necessary. Not only feet, but the whole form is required to move. The Sadyojata Mantra continues the limbs of the body. The Agamas, the Vedic scriptures, describe Lord Shiva as a white in color, in the likeness of the body with the charming face, besmeared with the sandalwood paste, adorned with white flowers. One hand displays the boon granting Varada Mudra, and another the fear. Uh, not Abhaya, Abhaya Mudra. He is the Shiva. So mantra for the Sadyojata La Shiva is and these mantras are from the Krishna Yajurveda Pancha Brahma mantras which is we call Sadyojatam Prabhadyami Sadyojata Yavai Namo Namaha Bhave Bhave Nati Bhave Bhavasvamam Bhavot Bhava Yanamaha. This is the mantra of the Sadyojata. Again, the first letter in the Nam Namah Shivaya, Na represents for this Shiva. The meaning of this mantra is, O Lord, I submit my mind, speech, body, totally and repeatedly to Lord Sadyojata who manifests himself and instance, uh, uh, instantially creates bodies and worlds, who appears to devotees in the form contemplated by them, and yet transcendence such forms assumed by him, and who has a rit uh, rit uh, rit uh, retinue of deities, formed as millions of mantras. May he make my form as his own form. Soham. You know, in the in the Vedas, what they say is, when you have, especially when you do the Rudra Bisheka, Rudra Puja, Shiva Puja, Na Rudra Rudra Marchayet, or Soham Bhave Na Puja Yet, Soham, 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 which, which is meaning is, Saha aham aham saha. The Lord Shiva himself is in, within me. And whatever is within me is Lord Shiva. That kind of a feeling you have to feel in your meditation. Second form of the Shiva is uh, Vamadeva Shiva. Vamadeva is uh, pleasing, loving, lovely. Cosmic action. 
cosmic action, which is what the Vamadeva Shiva does is sthiti, which is the preservation. The deputed Lord is Vishnu. The, if you, earlier Sadyojata was Brahma, now is it Lord Vishnu. Related Kala is the Pratishtha Kala. Cosmic elements is spare of water, Jalamandala, water element. Direction, north, which is north side. Panchakshara mantra syllaba is second word, Namashivaya Ma, Na Ma. And the color is saffron color. Part of the body is a hips and other lower regions of the body. Sense of sight. Pranavayu is prana. Kosha is pranamaya kosha. Energy body. Chakra is swadhisthana. Sacral chakra. Is in, this is the character of Vamadeva Shiva. Again, mantra for Vamadeva. Vama means secret and Gokya means unseen. It maintains progeny and related activities. Vama also means base of inferior. The experience of dharma, artha and kama are inferior to liberation. Vamadeva mantra enables souls to undergo lesser exp experiences. This mantra is considered to constitute the private parts, which is guhya of the body, the hip and other lower regions of the body. The Agamas, the Vedic scriptures, describe Lord Vamadeva as a red in color with a handsome face and wearing a rich apparel, the turban and garland of flowers. He holds a sword and shields. The mantra for this, Vamadeva Janamo Jeshta Janama Sveshta Janamo Rudra Janamakala Janamakala Vikarana Janamo Bala Vikarana Janamo Bala Janamo Bala Pramadhana Janama Sarva Bhuta Damana Janamo Manon Mana Janamaha. These are the mantras from the Vedas, from the Krishna Yurveda, Pancha Brahma mantras, which we call. The meaning of this mantra is, O Lord, my salutations to the playful creator, the luminous Lord. Salutations to the eternal elders beyond time's cycle. Salutations to the supreme God, whose, whose lordships suppresses all. Salutations to the protector from suffering. Salutations to the timeless one the orchestra of time's divine divisions, maintaining or order, salutations to the source of strength, empowering the auspicious, auspiciousness, salutations to the remover of inauspicious forces, salutations to the guide leading all souls to the Lord, it's to him, which is, you know, in the mantra, if you listen, Vama Deva Janamo Jeshta Janama Sveshta Janamo, this Namaha Namo, which you see, that is the called salutations. Next form of Shiva is Aghora Shiva, the non terrifying. The cosmic action is Laya, which is Samhara, dissolution. The characteristic of Shiva is silent and benevolent. Deputed Lord is Rudra. Related Kala is Vidya Kala. Cosmic element is Agni, fire. Direction is South, Dakshina. Panchakshara Mantra, the syllable of this mantra is She. If you follow the back to the other previous ones, Na Ma. The third one is she. Color is blue or black, dark colored, cloud color. Part of the body is heart and chest. Sense is hearing. And pranavayu is samana. 
and kosha is manomaya kosha as astral emotional and chakra is manipuraka chakra navel chakra is represented by this aghora shiva so mantra aghora hridaya hridaya anatomically constitute the heart chest and related parts of the form hridaya also means supreme consciousness this mantra is an antidote antidote to the dreadful ghora phenomenon of repeated birth and death thus this is known as aghora mantra meaning non dreadful tranquil and calm the scriptures agama state that aghora deva of shiva is the color of dark cloud and is adorned with sick, uh, crescent stud studded crown and beautiful earrings thus his expression is pleasant appear his appearance in dreadful with long projecting teeth and a tawny colored beard mustache and matted hair he is adorned with snakes in his neck and scorp scorpions and a garland of skulls the four hands of the left side hold a fire katwanga a staff with a skull at its top shield and nose the four hands in the right side holds a trident hatchet sword and staff which is this is the character and describing about the aghora shiva the mantra for this is again from this is from krishna yajurveda om Aghore ebhyo dhore ebhyo ghor ghor dare bhya sarve ebhya sarva sarve ebhyo namaste astu rudra rupe bhya salutations to the lord shiva who manifests himself in countless bin bin you know benign forms in frightful and terrifying forms and to all those countless forms of rudra in the shri rudra hymns salutations to all such manifestation of lord shiva is the meaning of this mantra next one is tatpurusha shiva supreme soul the supreme So Tatpurusha Shiva is cosmic action of the Shiva is Tirobhava. Deputed Lord is Maheshwara. Related Kala is Shanti Kala. Cosmic element is Vayumandala, the air, the sphere of air. Direction is east. Panchakshara Mantra, Na Ma Shi. This one is Va, and part of the body is face, sense is smell, Pranavayu is Va, Va, you know, Vyana, Vyana is one of the, the, the ten Vayus, Kosha is Vijnana Maya Kosha, intellectual body, Chakra is Anahata Chakra, heart chakra. All right. The mantra for this Tatpurusha is Tatpurusha Vaktra comprising five faces of the Lord. Vaktra means the protection, protect. This mantra protects the bodies of all beings by bestowing knowledge and warning of fear of the future birth and death. The Agamas described, the scriptures described Tatpurusha Shiva as gold in color dressed in yellow skin um, silken cloth head adorned with a crown and crescent moon in one hand he holds a 
string of beads and in another his trident staff. Om the mantra Om Tatpurushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dhimahi Tanno Rudra Prachodaya. This Tatpurusha, this, this mantra is called Rudra Gayatri also. If this mantra, if you can listen or chant on especially on Mahashavaratri day or daily at least 11 times and Mahashavaratri day at least a thousand times gives you a excellent results. As guided by my guru, you know, I realize from the Shiva knows as Tatpurusha. I meditate with pure mind and refined intellect, one great illuminator. Let Tatpurusha Shiva, who cuts as, uh, asunder the limiting bonds of the soul, and by, and by this act comes to be known as Rudra, guide, enlighten, and strengthen my organs of knowledge and action and my inter internal faculties. That is the meaning of this mantra. So, last face of the Shiva is Ishana, ruler. Cosmic action is supreme bliss form. So, you know, the cosmic, uh, the cosmic action is Anugraha. Deputed Lord is Sadashiva. Related Kala is Shantyati Kala. And cosmic energy is Earth, Akasha. Ether, sorry, not earth, ether. Direction is upward, Urdhva Vaktra. Panchakshara Mantra, Ya. Om, Na, Ma, Shi, Va, Ya. The fifth letter in the mantra. Part of the body is the head. Sense is the touch. Prana Vayu is Udana Vayu. And the Kosha, the physical body is Anandamaya Kosha, bliss body, pure consciousness body. Chakra in our body, human physiology is Vishuddhi, which is the throat. And color is crystal color. Ishana, uh, Ishana is the Murti. The mantra is about the mantra. Ishana is the ultimate limit of boundary. Ishana mantra is considered to constitute the head of Sadashiva, the upper limb of the form. <laughs> The Agamas describe Ishana Deva, Ishana Shiva as pure crystal in color. With three eyes, he holds a trident in one hand and a string of beads in another. He, his two other hands present the Abhaya, fear not, and Dhanya, Dhyana, meditation mudra. This is Abhaya and this is Dhyana Mudra. He wears a crescent on moon on his crown. His form is charged with benevolence. Some images show him as various things in his many hands. In some of them, he is prorated, you know, portrayed with the Vedas, an elephant tusks, a noose a skull, a hatch, hatchet, and trident, and many more. Some images include a, you know, she-goat. In some images, he is seen offering protection against many evils of the world. And in the other hand, he is the seen offering boons or worship, wishes to people, the devotees. The mantra for this Ishana Shiva, Om Ishana Sarva Vidyanam Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Brahma Dipatar Brahmano Dipatar Brahma Shibome Astu Sada Shibom. This is the Ishana Mantra. Lord Ishana, the Supreme Lord, is a revealer of the knowledge and spiritual dis uh, discipline, the nurture and 
controller of all living beings the directing lord of sadashiva he who is the guiding and directing authority for the eight vidya vaidyeshwaras who directs brahma vishnu and all other deities may he present himself in this shivalinga on the form of shivalinga by such big benign presence let there be absolute purity and auspiciousness in me which ishana sarva vidyana vidya like you know he is the lord shiva he is the lord for all the knowledge he is for the you know he he is he is the only source of energy in the world in the vedic yajna center as in the beginning i already showed about this mahashivaratri celebration we are celebrating you may participate in this program if you wish and if you have any questions you can ask me now and uh, uh you know with this mahashivaratri there are many many other informations also you can get into the um you know if you need through my website but the mahashivaratri is a very auspicious day comes once in a year and i request you all to please participate in this programs and meditate at your home wherever you are and be blessed and uh, of course this recording will be sent to you all and thanks for joining me today and um, if anybody have any questions you can feel free to ask me here and uh, or you can directly contact me on the mobile number either whatsapp or phone text message which is my phone numbers are given here on the bottom 5126337999 and uh, my website is www.vydic.com thank you namaste any questions if anybody have any questions you can unmute and ask your questions also you don't need to type if you have any questions you can unmute and ask question okay so looks like no one have any questions All right so let's uh, conclude with our final chanting Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunattu Sahavir Yankara Bhavahi Tejasvi Namadhi Tavastuma Vidvishavahi Om Shantishantishantihi Thank you very much. Again, all you are joining today and uh, wish you all the best and happy Mahashivaratri. Thank you.